K, rumors and news, you in the right place. Want a community that's cool, you in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation, we all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo. Ooh, dope. It's your boy. You don't know, brutal sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So, y'all know what it is by now, y'all. I'll give y'all five seconds, five seconds to show your boy some love. Because you know, YouTube actually linked the algorithms to likes, and the more likes, the faster y'all get these noises on time, y'all. Five seconds to like of the video, y'all. I know y'all got your boy. I know y'all got your boy. Bruce Squad, we in the building. Now Mike Wayne speak. Mike Wayne speak and we gonna listen. Because you know Mike Wayne all come out once in a blue moon, right? I know it's close to when 2K dropped. Because if he come out any other time, the 2K community rushes him and just... It, 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 you know how negative the community is, man. And not everyone can handle that for their mental. So I understand why he goes like... He goes rogue. I don't understand when he goes silent. I understand. You gotta keep your mental right, right? So he come out here talking about a few things, gameplay, of course, that they release, and we gonna listen to what he got to say. I'm gonna express a few concerns because a lot of people get asked me, bro, what you feel about 2K22, man? So I'm gonna express some of my concerns, man. So why I'm approaching this with some with some caution? Let's check this out, y'all. Hey, it's Mike Wang, and today I'm going to talk about what's new in 2K22. First up, gameplay. On offense, breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos, precision jump shooting, dunking in traffic, and pulling off alley-oops have all become more skill-based. On defense, we added a completely <laughs> revamped shot contest and blocking system, highlighting a number of new defensive tools at your disposal. Seasons will expand to not only my team, but my career and the W, bringing more content, more reward. Now, notes. Note that he said, he said seasons will expand. Notes. Let's go. We're going to talk about that a little bit more, of course. More ways to play and a brand new way to level up your MyPlay. Now for Park, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S players will step into an all new version of the city. It also has a new quest system, matchmaking options, and more. PS4 and Xbox One players will set sail on an all new dedicated basketball community. A neighborhood built on a sailing cruise ship. For my career, on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, the all-new city and the My Career story become one in a groundbreaking narrative experience with new features like hidden talents, an upgraded home lifestyle, and more. On PS4 and Xbox Series One, players will also get a whole new My Career experience. My team for NBA 2K22 evolves as the ultimate experience for building and competing with your own dream team on day one, adding My Team Draft as well as even more additions coming throughout the year, including an original all-new game mode this holiday season. Stay tuned for more 2k22 updates all right so we're gonna talk a few things man we we're gonna talk about a few things including the season we're gonna have to start with the season now remember mike when he said extend i don't know if you all didn't know this right that seasons has already been in 2k they already introduced it with nba 2k21 next gen with the mayoral or the mayor cycle right usually how it worked was you we elect a mayor and for the next six weeks they reset all the warehouse challenges and the npcs and all that stuff but the problem was my concern is my experience the first time around wasn't that good a lot of times the npcs wasn't where they're supposed to be the game would be glitched out um they didn't reset it when they should have reset it it seemed like it wasn't on a steady schedule or it didn't have that much support behind it and it just was unstable man like if you i enjoyed i ain't going front with y'all it definitely helped me grind a lot of players a lot faster because sometimes you want to do something besides my career to grind your players and that definitely gave a different option and i enjoyed it but that's when it worked and it was glitchy a lot of times as well so 
I got some concerns in terms of the execution, man. And that's one of my biggest, uh, sometime, right, when it comes to 2K, is their execution. On paper, it looks amazing, but whenever you leave their services and get in your console, you get in your hands, it operates a little bit different. Remember, Mike, when you saying this last year? 2K21. Yeah. Yeah, then the game drop and then we find out your error codes, error codes, error codes. You walking on water, walking like Christ. And it took sometimes up to 30 minutes to get into games. He wants them as, as he promised, right? So that's one of my concerns, man, how they decide to really put this in the game. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, of course, is the my career. Right, pretty much what they said is they're going to be ditching, and I, I got this from probably IGN, they're going to be ditching the more cinematic experience that we gotten used to and put it on a quest-based open world type thing, which we, we could pretty much embrace this, that they're moving towards the GTA thing, and because GTA, look at what GTA does, they've been probably one of the most successful games for 2K. Because the last real micro storyline we enjoy was, I know, the real one's gonna know this, man. That's the one that I was really immersed in, like really watching a movie and looking to see what happened next. And the ending just got me shook a little bit, you know what I'm saying? That was the last time. But aside of that, they, it's still, it started getting a little bit lazy on their end, to be quite honest. Not to them, but to us, it was like, uh, that's all my career is. So I'm not really upset that they're taking this approach. But once again, it's all about execution and stability and making it work. We don't want to re replace something else with something that's more tedious and more annoying. And now you got to track down certain things, man. We're just trying to play basketball to basketball and help level up all players. The cutscene was a little pause, but you didn't have to go look for something, you know what I mean? And just make it an annoying experience. So hopefully, hopefully, the experience they focus more on experience and not necessarily on getting you running all over the place and just you know as i said before it can be really tedious and the next thing we're going to talk about a lot of people keep hitting me up about this and this is my biggest fear with nba 2k22 is the 2k community now this was taken from polygon we've completely revamped our blocking system and steel and our body of system and our shot contest system. He said that visual concepts also overhaul the fatigue system for NBA 2K22 in a way that encourages players to use their full bench, not just play their starting for 48 minutes straight. Now, look at what he said. Now, all people saw was fatigue. Clearly, he's not really speaking about the park here. Clearly, he's not speaking about the park or the wreck. He's speaking about these game modes that people like the My GMs, the My Leagues, or the My Teams. Clearly, he's speaking about but the park community already start. Oh, they're messing with fatigue because you know how the community is. We like to dribble, 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 dribble. And whenever they drop the game, even if they do that to affect the park, whenever 2K do something good, right? And I'm going to use NBA 2K21 current gen as an example. When that game dropped, everyone went out there with 85 overalls without no badges and was complaining that they were missing shots. And they, there was an outcry in the 2K community. Content creators expect to go out there and do what they was doing in the last game. They went out there and they were average with average players. And they were getting dropped off. Then they start hitting on Mike Wayne. Mike Wayne, this game is trash. We can't make a shot. We can't make a shot. It was like, yo, you ain't got your badges, your player 80 some overall. Like, what do you expect? You might have to learn a new game. You just might have to learn a new game. Then, then they start responding, like, okay, let's see what we could tweak to make your games better. And that, that's why we got the game we got today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I challenge 2K whenever they drop the game and they drop a good game that someone might have to have there might have to be a learning curve there so that's why i always laugh when i hear content creators use the term skill base 
they keep using the term skill base. But if they ain't got a game that they could cheese in and dominate, oh, the game is trash. Clearly, y'all don't understand the term skill base. The reason why you're probably trash and not the game is trash that you might have to learn to get better. There might be a learning curve. I just gotta call a spade a spade. A lot of times, the downfall of this game is because of the 2K community. So I challenge 2K with standing their ground a little firmer and taking the right criticism. There isn't always bad criticism. Sometimes, in the midst of it, there are some people that actually know what they're talking about, Brutal Sim. Uh, who said that? But some people actually know what they're talking about and might make the right recommendation for the benefit of the game and not necessarily for the benefit of only them and their bills. I'm just putting this out there. So that's one of my biggest concerns right there. But anyways, y'all, just a quick update video for y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim, if you're first time to the channel and you like the video, make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy your sub subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's going to be informed, y'all. Your boy Sim on love, respect, bless up. Peace. Peace. Peace.